Hey guys, welcome back. It's Close Place Games, and we're playing Free for Sport. What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. Yeah. So this is what we need to look like wrestlers. This is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back. My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Here you go! Thank you! Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso! Please, call me Nelson! All right, you hogfish, pay attention. I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep heads to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Go to sleep, please. <laughs> We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is too 
purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away, or if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you, and I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Thanks, bud. I need that right now. This buoy would work a lot better if we could... Hey, I've got an idea. That's what I was trying to do the first time. Be free, little buoy. Is it coming back down? I don't think so, Luther. Oh, bye-bye, buoy. <laughs> It's a screwdriver. Uh, Look, Lothar. This suitcase had a three-ton anchor on top of it, and it's not even scratched. Wow! we need to look like wrestlers. We've got a belt buckle like that and a bandana. We still need a 10 gallon hat. Gobi, I'm at my wits end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy! Where'd they get the accordion? 
I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. Not Mr. Big. to keep that shark busy for a while. Yeah, actually, he looks very happy. Ah! I like this gold starfish. Let's take it with us. Okay. So this is what we need to look like wrestlers. We've Would you like the starfish? It looks a lot like the star I used to have, except mine was gold, of course. Ah, uh, those were the days. <laughs> Is that where that saying comes from? The saying that, what, do you want a gold star? Here. Here's your gold star. Enjoy. Okay. Stars again. And this time you get a gold one. Starfish, Would you like the starfish? 
My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty ten-gallon hat? Sure, I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found. Sheriff Shrimp is back in town. But we know where the rustlers are. You there! That's a loading zone! Looks like it's still up to us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Let's ride! Yeah! yeah. Oh boy, a ten-gallon hat! This is great! How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Yeah, maybe you're right. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. All in the meantime, we end up so here. On the next one, we're going to hopefully finish this game. Yeah, there we go. And then I'll have to finish the other Freddy Fish game. Anyway, in the meantime, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you. Give you His peace. You stay blessed until next time. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's play this game. All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! Might be that the hogfish done up and rustled themselves, too. Can't ever tell with hogfish. to look like wrestlers. We've got all of those things. That's part of my disguise. I That's part of my disguise. That's part of my disguise. That's part of my disguise. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Okay. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. You're not wearing a 10-gallon hat. You don't have a big old rustler-style belt buckle. You don't have a fashionable bandana like I have. So I can't let you pass by. I'll bet. If we were wearing rustler costumes, we could fool that guard. It's a bandana. That's part of my disguise. What do you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a rustler? Oh! Yes!
This should make my disguise even better. It does! There. Those rustlers won't be able to tell me apart from the real thing. It's a great outfit. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow rustler. And howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um. Poor Maury, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. be a way out under all these cannonballs. Phew! These are heavy! There! That does it. was singing it to us over and over. They think he was trying to get us to go to sleep. I see. By the way, I'm Freddy and this is Luther. My name's Gruntle. I'm glad you're going to rescue us. It's really crowded in here. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. We'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. That anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six tons. What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. This is a nice dirty chain. Uh -huh. 
the chain won't quite reach the bars. Maybe we can make it longer. I think I see something behind this thing. You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. see any law. Then I suggest you turn around. Real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. He kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> When the rustlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. 
Well, which one is it then? Was it you, the male snail? Say now. No, it wasn't him. He would have been stuck with his broken wagon when it all happened, remember? Oh, yeah. Well, who then? Maybe it was the squids. They're all pretty suspicious looking. Nonsense. We squids would never take something that didn't belong to us. I raised these boys up right. That's right, she did. Yipper! I'm sure you did. No, it's not any of the squids. Oh, well then who is it? Who's Mr. Big? Mr. Big must be Sahara Slim. I assure you, I'm not your perpetrator. We saw you sending a telegram. You said, keep them on ice. Yep, that was about some suspects in another case. You see, I'm here undercover. I'm actually Sahara Slim, under Sea Marshal. <laughs> I sure didn't expect that. I'm here investigating possible violations of the undersea coffee break statutes. <coughs> I guess you're probably not a rustler then. That was smart to notice the telegram, but he's not Mr. Big. So who is? Who's Mr. Big? Phil, when we were at the soda loom and we found the note telling the rustlers to meet here, you made a phone call to someone. You were talking about the note. Well, I... <laughs> and when we got here and found the hogfish, I noticed this. What's that? It's sheet music, Sheriff. The sheet music to this little piggy, to be exact. No need to go on. It's my music. Moray was having trouble getting the hogfish to sleep. So I suggest that he try singing this little piggy to them. Fat lot of good that did. Phil, does that mean that you're, you're... I'm Mr. Big, yes. <laughs> I, I never meant to hurt anybody, you understand. It's just that I've got 17 children, and I don't make that much as a piano player. I thought Hogfish Ranching might bring in a little extra cash. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten-gallon hats? Yours is a five-gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. 
I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. Oh, Stewball was a racehorse with she was mine. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Clementine! That was Funny Fish 4, and so after the credits are done, um, in the time the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord face you, find you, and give you his peace, you guys have a good night. Until next time, bye.